Hi there, it's Gina from Vintage Charm Homestead. That's me in the middle there between my husband Ralph and my dog Winter. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a beautiful pie crust using the Iron Orchid Designs molds. This is me back when I was a kid making jam with one of my aunts. But I want to give some special credit to my 6th grade teacher, Mrs. Lehman, who not only sparked my interest in music, she also sparked my interest in baking. Every week, the whole class would make something special. I still have the recipes she gave us back then. Today, we're going to make this pie using the Iron Orchid Designs molds. Working with pie crust dough is a little bit different than utilizing regular air dry clay, like the Iron Orchid Designs clay. Instead of using cornstarch, we're going to use a little bit of flour to facilitate a quicker and easier release. After working the dough a little bit in your hands, which is going to warm it up just a little bit, you're going to press it into each image. Find the micro rim. That's going to give you a nice clear margin around your mold. Turn it over and release. I find moving the molds around on a sheet of paper or a separate dish a lot easier to figure out where I want things to go rather than putting it directly on the pie itself. This way, if you want to move things around, you don't have to worry about if, if there's a little bit of the filling on the mold itself. You just don't want to muddy up your the look of your design. And it's a lot easier to move things around. All right, let's get to the lattice work. I think it's the lattice pie crust that gives people that wow factor. And with the Iron Orchid Designs molds, the trimmings one and trimmings two are the perfect length to create this type of a look on your pie, utilizing these different designs within each each of the separate trimmings. They're absolutely gorgeous and the details are impeccable. Okay, we're gonna work with the mold here with the trimmings, dusting it with some flour, dumping out any excess, then go ahead and start working the dough in your hands to create a roll to stick into the trimmings mold. After you get the pie crust dough into the mold, start working it with your fingers and pressing the dough into all the different details there and smoothing it out with your fingers, removing the excess dough. This is where having less dough to work with is gonna make it easier on you and it'll little bit, be a little bit quicker. All I'm doing here is just cleaning up the edges by finding the micro rim, which is a patented design by Iron Orchid Designs for their molds, and it helps you to get that nice clean margin. We're going to turn it over and let the mold fall out without pulling on the molding itself. Take a look at the detail that you see here. Now it's time to start putting some of this all together. You can use as little or as many trimmings moldings to create your lattice design. I decided I wanted to have some of each, so I'm just rolling out the rest of the dough. And then I'm going to use a pie crust cutter to create more strips. This one just happens to have a fancier side and a plain side. I use the fancier side. All right, the hardest part is if you can cut strips that are the same width all the way through. This is one of those things you have to just not even think about, you just do it. The harder you think about it, the worse it's going to get. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. We'll throw that one out for now. Let's try it again.
Okay. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this on just the sheet of paper. And we're going to show you just how we create that lattice by alternating which side we're working on, as well as which strip's going to go under which. I think it's easier to see than it is for me to explain it. So if the strip went under, you're going to want to pull that strip back, lay the other piece over crossways, and then pull those strips back down. Going to the other side now. Take some thinking to figure it out, <laughs> but you'll get it. If you make a mistake, that's all right. You just fix it. Once you feel comfortable on the paper creating your design, then go ahead and start working on your pie. Try not to lick your fingers. Okay, our pie is almost ready to go in the oven. What I like to do now is add an egg wash over the top of the pie crust. You can do this by mixing up an egg with a fork and adding a little bit of water, about one to two tablespoons to one egg. Or you can replace the water for um, cream and that'll give it a little bit more of a glazier look on your pie. This is also the time that you're going to want to add any sugar over the top of your pie crust. Okay, for those inquiring minds who want to know about my pie crust dough. This was a gift I had gotten in my Hope Chest, the Better Homes and Garden new cookbook. And I highly recommend it for anybody who's moving out on their own for the first time. It's got how-tos for just about anything and it's got a pretty darn good pie crust dough recipe. Okay, one more thing we need to do before we get this into the oven. You're gonna cover the edges and the higher areas like the roses with foil. You're doing that so you can prevent any burning along those edges in the, in the higher areas while still allowing the rest of the pie crust to cook. About 25 minutes to 35 minutes into cooking, or baking rather, then you're gonna remove that foil. But keep an eye on it because you may need to stick it back on and every oven is a little bit different. The, the, the IOD molds are food safe and with all their gorgeous designs you can create some magnificent looking pies with these. And I really hope you guys give this a try and, and I also hope that you share some pictures with us because I would love to see them. It is recommended that you keep a separate set of molds for use for food. All right, once your pie is all done baking and it's cooled down a little bit, you can bring on a smile just like this one by sharing it with someone you love. And this is my dad. I don't think he's turned down one of my pies yet. He's turned down some bread that I made when I put too much salt in it. But he seems to like my pies pretty much. So I guess that's a safe bet. Vintage Charm Homestead is located inside of Reclaimed Artisans, Inc at 302 Peterson Road in Libertyville, Illinois. We'd love for you to come stop and see us. You can find out more and check out our online shop at VintageCharmHomestead.com. And be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps and makes you feel a little bit more confident to give this a try yourself. And just like the IOD sisters say, go make something beautiful, I'm going to give it a little twist. Go make a beautiful pie. And be sure to send us some pictures because I can't wait to see how beautiful they are.